Welcome back to another episode of The Investing Iguana, the show where we help you grow your money and your happiness. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to talk about a topic that is very close to my heart, how to be more content with your life. Now, you might be wondering, what does contentment have to do with investing? Well, let me tell you, contentment is one of the most valuable assets you can have. It's not something you can buy or sell on the stock market, but it's something that can make a huge difference in your quality of life. Contentment is the feeling of being satisfied and happy with what you have and who you are. It's not about chasing after more money, more fame, more stuff, or more anything. It's about appreciating what you already have and finding meaning and purpose in your life. Sounds good, right? But how do you achieve contentment? Is it something that just happens to you, or is it something that you can cultivate and practice? Well, I'm glad you asked, because today I'm going to share with you 10 secrets that can help you become more content with your life. These are not some random tips that I made up, but they are based on scientific research and proven strategies that have worked for millions of people around the world. And the best part is, they are simple and easy to implement in your daily routine. So, are you ready to discover these hidden paths to joy? Let's get started. The first secret is to specialize in generating and sharing positive energy. This means that you focus on the good things in your life and express gratitude for them. You also spread positivity to others by being kind, generous, supportive, and optimistic. When you do this, you not only make yourself happier, but you also make others happier and create a positive feedback loop that boosts your well-being. Studies have shown that practicing gratitude can increase your happiness by 25% and that performing acts of kindness can improve your mood and reduce stress. So, start your day by writing down three things that you are grateful for and end your day by doing something nice for someone else. You'll be amazed by how much better you'll feel. The second secret is to decide to be a problem solver. This means that you don't let challenges or difficulties get you down, but instead you see them as opportunities to learn and grow. You also don't blame others or yourself for your problems, but instead you take responsibility and action to overcome them. When you do this, you develop a growth mindset that helps you cope with stress and adversity better. You also increase your self-confidence and self-efficacy by proving to yourself that you can handle anything that life throws at you. Research has shown that having a growth mindset can improve your academic performance, career success, and personal relationships. So, next time you face a problem, don't complain or give up, but ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I solve this? What can I do differently next time? The third secret is to harness yourself to a project. This means that you find something that you are passionate about and dedicate yourself to it. It could be a hobby, a skill, a cause, or a goal that gives you a sense of meaning and fulfillment. When you do this, you enter a state of flow, which is when you are fully immersed and engaged in what you are doing. You also experience the sense of mastery and achievement by making progress and overcoming challenges. Studies have shown that being in flow can increase your happiness, creativity, and productivity. So, find something that sparks your interest and makes you lose track of time. It could be anything from gardening to painting to coding to volunteering. Just make sure it's something that aligns with your values and strengths. The fourth secret is to learn from mistakes. This means that you don't let failures or setbacks discourage you or define you, but instead you see them as feedback and opportunities to improve. You also don't dwell on the past or regret what could have been, but instead you focus on the present and the future. When you do this, you develop a resilient mindset that helps you bounce back from difficulties faster. You also increase your wisdom and insight by gaining valuable lessons from your experiences. Research has shown that learning from mistakes can enhance your memory, motivation, and performance. So, next time you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up or hide it from others, but ask yourself, what went wrong? What can I do better? How can I prevent this from happening again? The fifth secret is to see yourself and others in the best possible light. This means that you have a positive self-image and self-esteem that are based on reality and not on illusions or fantasies. You also have a positive view of others and assume the best of their intentions and actions. When you do this, you increase your happiness and satisfaction with yourself and your life. You also improve your relationships and social skills by being more empathetic, trusting, and cooperative. 
Studies have shown that having a positive self-image and a positive view of others can reduce your stress, anxiety, and depression. So, stop comparing yourself to others or putting yourself down and start appreciating your strengths and achievements. And stop judging others or holding grudges and start forgiving and understanding them. The sixth secret is to agree, augment, and add instead of disagreeing. This means that you don't argue or debate with others over trivial or subjective matters, but instead you find common ground and build on it. You also don't criticize or contradict others, but instead you compliment and support them. When you do this, you create a harmonious and constructive atmosphere that fosters collaboration and innovation. You also enhance your communication and persuasion skills by being more respectful and receptive. Studies have shown that agreeing, augmenting, and adding can improve your creativity, problem-solving, and decision-making. So, next time you have a conversation or a discussion with someone, don't try to win or prove them wrong, but try to learn and understand them. And don't say but or however, but say and or yes. The seventh secret is to say, if it's in the past, it's for the good. This means that you don't regret or resent anything that happened in the past, but instead you accept it and move on. You also don't worry or stress about anything that might happen in the future, but instead you plan for it and let go. When you do this, you free yourself from the burden of negative emotions that can weigh you down and hold you back. You also increase your optimism and hopefulness by focusing on the positive aspects of your life. Studies have shown that accepting the past and letting go of the future can boost your happiness, health, and well-being. So, stop living in the past or the future and start living in the present. And remember, everything happens for a reason. The eighth secret is to cherish your circle of loved ones and friends. This means that you nurture and maintain close relationships with people who care about you and who you care about. You also expand and diversify your social network by meeting new people and making new friends. When you do this, you enrich your life with love, support, and companionship. You also benefit from the wisdom, perspective, and diversity of others. Studies have shown that having strong social ties can increase your happiness, longevity, and immunity. So, make time for your family and friends and show them how much you appreciate them. And be open to new connections and experiences and see how they can enrich your life. The ninth secret is to treat your anger as a stop sign. This means that you don't let anger take over your emotions or actions, but instead you pause and calm yourself down. You also don't express your anger in harmful or destructive ways, but instead you channel it into constructive or productive ways. When you do this, you prevent yourself from saying or doing things that you might regret later. You also resolve conflicts and issues more effectively by being more rational and respectful. Studies have shown that managing anger can improve your mental health, physical health, and interpersonal relationships. So, next time you feel angry, don't lash out or bottle it up, but take a deep breath and count to ten. And don't vent or retaliate, but communicate or redirect. The tenth secret is to enjoy life's pleasures and let the laughter flow. This means that you savor the small things in life that bring you joy and delight. You also laugh often and freely at yourself and at the world. When you do this, you increase your happiness and satisfaction with life. You also reduce your stress and pain by releasing endorphins and relaxing your muscles. Studies have shown that enjoying life's pleasures and laughing can improve your mood, memory, and immunity. So, indulge in your favorite foods, hobbies, music, movies, books, etc., and enjoy every moment of them. And watch funny videos, listen to jokes, play games, etc., and laugh until your stomach hurts. And there you have it, 10 secrets that can help you be more content with your life. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos on investing, personal finance, and happiness. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, which secret resonated with you the most? How do you practice contentment in your life? What are some other tips or tricks that work for you? Let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps us to understand what kind of content you want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe. Here at The Investing Iguana, we're dedicated to helping you navigate your financial journey with confidence and clarity. 
And guess what? There's plenty more where this came from. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll tackle other interesting financial topics like the best investment strategies, understanding the stock market, and how to make your money work harder for you. As always, we're thrilled to have you as part of our Investing Iguana community. Your support helps us keep producing free content like this. Remember, every like, share, and subscribe goes a long way. Thanks for joining us today. Keep investing, keep growing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.